Previously on Gemini Rue. Use girl on hole. <laughs> giggity, giggity, goo. Now back to sticking my foot in things. Hello! The Sticko B. Back with some more Gemini Rue. We last left off, we uh, played some more as uh, Azrael and his quote unquote brother, who I still believe is really actually him in like the past, uh, uh, Delta 6. Uh, we got uh, we got Delta Six got managed to get him to obtain a gun for the chick to help him break out of there. And for Azrael, we're looking for the location of some drugs for the Boryakuda, so we can get more information about uh, where Delta Six is, um, or where the location of the uh, the Center Seven is. So yeah, and so yes, after much looking around, we discovered that this. This guy, the guy's name it seems to be Barry Adama, but he isn't in this terminal, so I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go next. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I figured I figured out apparently that uh, that little that really really ugly looking blur effect that was on sprites when I walked back here was actually something I could turn off. <laughs> I'm not really sure why anyone would want it on. I, I mean, it just it made things it made it look so much worse. Look how much better this looks. Why would I want anything else? Okay, so. Uh, Okay, that lady's not still not here. I wonder if, uh, okay, maybe the guy at the front desk, uh, this dude will help us. Cause I feel like whenever I, I get lost or can't figure anything out, I just talk to this guy and he always helps me out. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here now. No, no, no. Talk to the dude. Poke the dude. What do you need? Okay. Do you know a Barry Adama? And yes, I checked the terminals. Oh, good. You did, huh? No matches or something? That's right. Maybe try checking around the local joints. Some people might know where he lives. Okay. Hey, you dirty homeless man. Tell me what I want to know, or I will carbon stabilize your balls. Hey. This receptionist doesn't talk to me anymore. Do you know a person named Barry Adama? Barry Adama? Yeah, he lives here. Oh, why? Thank God. He told me to meet him at his room. But I forgot the number. It's room 4A. 4A? Thanks. <laughs> wow, dude. You don't remember me from earlier? Remember? I'm the asshole. Okay, man, I was like, I'm a cop. I've come here to do stuff. And he's like, well, fuck you. Get out of here. I never want to see you again. And then I just got back, like, what, an hour later? And he's just all forgotten all about me. You guys are so fucking intelligent here, aren't you? Okay, there not, better not be, like, a whole bunch of guards out, outside his room. Okay, good. All right. Anybody home? Why is everyone Locked, lives in this fucking apartment suspected. building? All right, time to break in again. Got it. Hey, my luck. Picks broken. Yeah. Damn it! Ah. <laughs> hmm. Let's check his console here. Barry Adama, forty-eight, Hibiscus High Rise. Okay. That's six entries. All right. October 12th, 2229. Entry 1. I rented this apartment out with the memory that BB, le that BB left me. It's better than living on the street. I've got only got enough left for maybe two months, three at most. It's hard to believe almost a year, I, a year ago I lived in a white cell. Is this guy also going to be the one that es also escaped from cent Center 7? That would be a bit of a coincidence, though. I mean, and he's also the one that smuggled the juice. Uh, November 9th, 2229. I'm getting off Barracus the first chance I get, but I have to get make things right again. I'm not going to ignore it. I rented the ship using my false alias. Tonight, I'm going up to the station and waiting for the transport to come through. I made the exchange. I hid it in a safe place. I'm calling the police, and they can take care of it. I believe I I can't believe I lost the access card. I'm still waiting on the commissioner, but the juice is safe from the Boryakudan's hands. I've got to find that card or somebody else before somebody else finds it. There was a man named Azriel. He's the one who's fighting the, the Boryakuda. I'd probably go with him, but I have to finish this first. The commissioner called me back. They said they can't do anything. The police is useless on this plan. I'm going back to the Weather Tower to, 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 Weather Tower 2 to destroy it once and for all. Ah. Kane. Kane. Yeah. I think I know where the missing juice is. I might have the location of Center 7 sooner than I thought. I'll call you back in an hour if I'm right. Is this gonna get messy? I hope not. Over and out. Your goddamn right's gonna get messy. All right. Weather Tower Zero Two.
I finally have a reason to go over there. Oh, back to Delta Six. Oh. Delta Six, wake up. Ah! This is the director speaking. We had a little malfunction with the air fluctuators, and we thought you could be of assistance in fixing it. Please take the elevator down to maintenance shaft level one. Use this card to unlock the maintenance door. Wow, really? Don't you have, like, uh, staff to help you with this shit? Shut up. <laughs> you are our staff. Let's see, do I have any... I'm just the card. There we are. Apparently some pipes busted and Holy the air shit. fluctuation system was damaged. We need you to reset the system and fix any damage you see or else a lot of people will be suffocating. Push the reset button on the console down there once you're done. Work quickly and safely. Uh, okay. Shit. <laughs> Work quickly before we all die a painful death. It's broken. I need to replace it. S Seriously, don't you guys have staff or something? Uh, we, we're too fucking lazy, apparently. Alright. Any tools I can use? A wrench. And two replacement pipes. A uh, duck! Apologies, Delta-6, but we don't have anything larger than 10-inch pipe replacement in stock. Please just fix the other pipes and reset the air system. Don't forget to test the new pipes by using the steam valve again. Ah, okay. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, okay. We have now entered Repair Guy Simulator! You get oh, come on, dude. Wrench it. Okay, seriously? You can walk towards it, right? Okay. Now, grab that. And this one. And... Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Usually he just walks... Make sure to test the steam after you replace both pipes. Okay, okay, I get it, man. Good God, he's like hovering over me. Okay, screw firmly into place. Screw firmly into place. I should turn the steam back on and make sure the pipes work. All right, that takes care of the pipes for now. Now to reset the air ventilation. Yes, I'm working on that. Get get over there, you a you asshole! Just turn on all the shafts. Oh God! Ten and flip the power back on. Oh. Oh, okay. You'll know if they're on when they turn green. Oh, okay. <laughs> this was the puzzle that I I thought I was doing last time. There we go. Oh, no. No, I told me to reset it. All right. That takes care of the ventilation system. Excellent work, Delta 6. Please close the door on your way out and reset the mainframe cooling. It should be a large red button on the console down there that fixed the vents. I'll see you in the morning. Now, don't go doing anything with all the shit I just gave you. With that wrench or... Or access card. Now you have access to a whole bunch of rooms, probably. Delta-6, did I say you could push the reset button on the console down there? Oh. There we go. Charlie. Hey, what's up? It's okay. a nice name, you know that? I... I wish I had a name like Charlie. I didn't get one, though. I got Balder instead. Yeah, it is kind of a shitty name. They don't like me, Charlie. Nobody talks to me anymore. I mean, if you weren't such a creepy they, asshole. They treat me like... like I'm a freak. I wasn't gonna hurt her. Honest. You... you don't even remember what I'm talking about, do you? Uh... You ruined everything for me. I used to be a somebody before you came along. What the fuck? How'd you get out of your cell? Now, it's my turn. Oh, You're gonna fuck. pay for what you've done to me. Time to die, Charlie. Oh, fuck me, man. Oh! How does it feel? Not good. How does it feel to know that you were suckered since the day I got here? 
You don't even remember what you did to me. People were afraid of me. I could get whatever I wanted. You humiliated me in front of everyone. Ah. Uh. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Charlie! What did you do to deserve this? I've got to get out of here somehow. <laughs> I say out. <laughs> like I just say that out loud. Okay, I'm, best, I'm betting this is time based, so I'm pausing it for a second, but. Okay. Seriously? Hey, director guy! Hello! Hello! Do you not see this dude trying to murder me? I, I like how he, he noticed me the moment I tried to leave the room, but he conveniently leaves the room right when some dude comes over to murder me. Or maybe he's watching and he's testing me still. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh. Wait. You know, Charlie, I remember when you first got here. Is my wrench? No. Too blunt to cut Just the rope. Just another delta. Uh, Just another card? guy who would keep to himself. I need to get my hands free. Uh. uh I can't get them loose. Oh, great. There's nothing to do with it here. Poke it. Oh, feet. Feed it. Foot the wheel. Talk to the wheel. Do something, you ass. Those ropes keep my hands tied to them. Not you, though. You had to mess everything up. I like how all the bad guys always have to kill you in a real run up, roundabout way. Dude, this guy's bigger than me. I'm pretty sure he could just fucking beat me up and kill me that way if he really. You, you are crazy. You are a very crazy man. You don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Now, I'm pretty sure you're gonna turn the steam on and set me on fire or when something. When I'm finished with you, Epsilon 5 will be next. She's a good little girl. Would he have done this if I said that I wanted to leave with him? I, I don't think so. Just I just because, I, like I said, I think that the, the Asian girl is actually uh, Sayuri, right? Um, okay, what the fuck am I doing? Do I, would I have to talk to him, maybe? Please don't hurt me. Okay. You're free to go. Ah. Really? No. <laughs> really? No. Fuck. you around all day ever since you got here. What are you doing over there? I can't do what I was watching. Okay, dang it. Just because you saved her once. She's your pet now. Yeah, keep talking like a dumb dumb. Even though I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. You, I'll bite it off. I can't chew through them, damn it. Oh, can I use it? Oh, can I use my mouth on the wheel? I don't know how you do it, Charlie. I don't see. Oh, come on, man. Grab it with your teeth. Arr! Although, actually, I, I don't really know why that would do anything, but I don't have to duck you the room. You just love getting your memory erased, don't you? I love it, too, you know? It's very fun and gratifying. Is there, like, a section what? of rope I have to do? I'm going to escape without you using your map. Dude, just fucking kill me by this point, or I'm tired of listening to you talk! Giselle told me everything. We're leaving within the next week or so. Wow, thanks, Giselle. Without you. I've clicked. I feel like I've done every action to everything. What do, what do I do? I might take Epsilon 5 with me, get her memory erased too. Then I can make you her enemy and me her friend. Friend. What did I do to you that was so horrible? I just keep talking to him. You. Charlie, Charlie. What am I gonna do with you? What do you want with me? What do you think? My revenge. I want vengeance. Let me go. And give up my revenge? Yeah, right. I can't chew through the ropes. I can't. I can't hand the ropes. I can't foot the ropes. I can't finger the. I can't use my eye. I can't use my wrench. I can't use the card. What am I fucking supposed to do? I guess he tricked me all along. What do you mean he tricked you? It's fucking obvious. You're just stupid, Charlie. Oh, fuck you. No, fuck you. All right, I had to look this up because I, I didn't know what I was doing. No, that oh, there's a shard on the floor. That little tiny gray thing that blends into the, the background. Yeah, you mean again. that thing? Fuck you, game. That is, uh, ugh, that is the part about adventure games that just really pisses me off is when game developers do that. It's like, dude, if you're going to give me something that I need to interact with, at least make it fucking visible. It totally blends in with the fucking background. All right, fuck you. I almost had it. Ah. Uh, 
Yes, I've got the shard. Now use the shard to cut myself free. I think I should move while he's still looking. Thank God this guy's a fucking idiot. Doesn't just, he's just gonna keep basing back and forth. He's done the right, oh, oh, I see. He's too fast, I can't, I can't, I time it unless he's not moving, okay? For fuck's what sake. What should I do? I could kill you now, or I could leave you here to rot. Dude, just fucking kill me by this point, all right? If you, just, if you say it one more oh, fucking time, I'm gonna kill myself. The possibilities are endless. Oh, okay. I have to fucking talk to him. I do. What do you want with me? What do you think? My revenge. Hey. Okay, this is really, really fucking pissing me off. All right, this is. The possibilities are endless. So you gotta talk to him so he stops. Wait, but I, I can't even get a chance to click on the wheel after he stopped. Let me go and give up my revenge. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, okay. Now he's. I don't know why he didn't turn away the, all the other times. It, just this one time he did, though. All right, now you can fucking die. Burn, asshole. Ah! Bleed. My eyes. Good. You're two-faced now. Ah! I can't see. I'm gonna rip his face off and where does my own face now? Charlie's just like. I'm sorry. No, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm, you had like 30 minutes to kill me, dude. Oh, that was a that was a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, that's the thing. If so many adventure games, somebody's been here, all right. Have that problem of just not being very intuitive. Someone's been here. I wonder if they're hiding in that dumpster. Talk to me, Kane. Yes, Kane. Where are you? I lost contact with your signal. Did you leave the city? I'm at an abandoned weather tower on the east side. Yes, don't tell me you're gonna... No, I'm not going to kill the whole city. Calm down. Just looking for some lost cargo. I've got a hunch whoever stole the juice from the Boryokut and put it here. I'll call you back when I find it. Over and out. The guy that just kept it unlocked. That's funny. It just shut off. Maybe somebody was using it to transport something to the top. There's a pipe there. It's firmly wedged between the gear. Oh, uh, maybe if I f maybe if I foot it. There we are. Got it. That doesn't seem to have stopped the. That doesn't seem to have caused it to move. God, I've gotten a lot of pipes in this, haven't I? Pipes from my toilet, pipes to repair, pipes from the gears, pipe, 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 pipe. We got a bunch of switches here. It's off. Notice, main auxiliary power has been shut off. To reactivate machinery and apparatuses, you must first flip on the central power switch located on the second floor in the conveyor room. Okay. After you reactivate the main auxiliary power, this diverting machine will be online via the leftmost switch. This machine will reroute power to one, and I repeat, only one, sub-device. The auxiliary power has been cut down to 10%. Only one device may be activated at a time. Any attempt to activate any secondary devices uh. will shut off the power due to a shortage. Okay. Work safely, Chief Engineer. But how do I know which switch activates what thing? Uh, pipe? There we are. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, what's that? I think this connects back to the main power conduit. It's empty. It's missing a... Damn! That was an opening there. There's a little opening on the left side of that balcony. It might... Use plug on box! I should get on the box first. Oh, 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 here we go. I see. Okay, up. Use plug on conduit. It won't read. Oh, use plug... On the hole? It's still not getting... Up we go. Oh goody, more steam. The only thing that I can do with this is flip the switch. Error. Circuit disconnected. Oh, okay. We got some chains here. Shoot! Yeah! 
Ah, uh, here we go. Wait, no, grab the... Oh, well, There's I was... There's an extension plug here. It looks like it might be useful. Okay, alright, there we go. I thought I was going to use the chain to uh, attach to the end of the plug or something. Okay, extension cord, add to this. Get on the box. Grab the end of the plug. And use it on the opening. It's still not getting up. What? What? How is this not working? What the fuck? Why? This made sense until now. It's still not. I have an extension cord. Why is it even pulling it all the way? What do I do? First attach the extension cord, then drop it down from the ceiling? Is that what we're doing? There. End of plug. On the opening. There we go. Good God. And I'm going to pull it, and then it's going to pull the cord out, and I'm going to shoot myself. Use plug on, end of plug. Uh, got it. Oh, good. I thought he was going, ah, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I see one switch. Ah, here we go. Okay. Now I can fucking go this way. Up we go. Whee! Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah! <laughs> I have reached the top. Yep, it's juice. Who? It must have been leaking out. I should open up those cases and see if the juice is still intact. Better have a little tasty. Uh-oh. I have a hard uh. time seeing how you got all this up here. Oh. It wasn't easy. I'm sorry, but I have to take it back. Hmm. No. I can't let you. I can't let them have it again. I can't let this cycle go on. I needed to save my brother. They know where he is, and I have to find him. The juice in exchange for your brother. Is that it? Sounds about right. So she's the one you that. You want to save your brother. So you're juice, willing gotcha. to ruin the lives of hundreds of others in order to do so. You're goddamn right. One of them have it, but I need to find my brother. I'm going to use it against the Boryokuden. If you had a family, you'd know what this means. <laughs> of course, I hate people. I'm going to use it against the Boryokuden. What? How? I can pin the crime on them and try them in Gemini Court. That's stupid. The Boryokuden own the government in here. It's been that way ever since the war. And unless you want another war, Taurus doesn't have any jurisdiction to arrest them. Yeah. If you think your friends are going to give you that information, then they lied. They followed you here. They're probably going to kill us both, take the juice, and keep the location of your brother to themselves. Well, I guess we're going to die. Well, <laughs> guess we're, I guess we're toast then. Strong conclusions? I know that. I planned this all along. What makes you think that? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Guess I was wrong. Let's just go down and surrender. Okay, let's do that. After you. They <laughs> just entered the building. They're gonna be up here any second. I'll try to reason with them. Get down and out of sight. Hey guys, found your juice. Kane. Kane. Kane here. I found the juice. Get ready to drop out of orbit. You're not going to take it to the Borio Kuna? No. They're coming to me. As soon as I get the location of Center 7, pick me up immediately. Beat me up. Can't what do that! What did you just say? What? You're going to Center 7? What's it to you? Rendo scan. Yeah! What do you want? If you're going there, then I have to come with you. Not here to hurt you. All we want is the juice. We have the data packet with us. If you drop your guns, we'll throw over the packet and leave you in peace. Why do you want to go to Center 7? 
Because I was the one who escaped from it. I know. Throw it. over the packet now, and we can all walk out of this. Okay, I I think I see how, where this is going. So she's the one that escaped from it. She wants to go back to Center 7 because she thinks that she left Delta 6 behind, right? But it turns out that this guy is, probably, is actually probably Delta 6. But I, maybe I did. Maybe then he didn't escape. And they just remade him into another person, essentially. They, I guess they, they would have probably dyed his hair, made it darker, and... I don't know. I mean, I think it's the same voice actor, just with a deeper voice. But maybe they did change his voice. I, I don't know. I mean, it is a pretty different, but I, I, I think I can still hear, like, the same guy. Okay, I'm coming out. Hand me the package. Pack it, and I might let you live. Let's talk about this. Over my dead body! Okay, I'm coming out. What are you, stupid? Uh -huh. <laughs> Shut up! Gotcha, motherfucker. Dead. Oh! One shot, one kill. Noise. What's going on? A bullet must have hit the gas pipe. The feed is going to overflow. We've got Good to get God, out of here. what are the odds? I have to get that packet first. It's not on them, but I saw it in their hand. What? Oh, there it is. Ah, the screen keeps shaking. It's making it hard to get it. Gah. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Call me Butterfingers, god dang it. Uh, oh, there it is. I can't reach them. Oh, I have to... Oh, I know. I have to stop it with the, the pipe. Put the pipe back in here. There we go. Oh, oh. Come to me, data packet, if I drop you again. Got it. Then I'm just not getting it. Now ring around the rosy, pockets full of posy. Let's get out of here before we die. There's nothing. I'm gonna use Siri on the rope. Kane, I got Kane. the data file. Rendezvous with me five clicks east of here. Roger that. On my way. Let's go! Kay. This thing is gonna blow! Let's run away in slow motion! Don't look at the explosion, remember? Cool people don't look at explosions! Boom! Hurry up and get in. One of the weather towers malfunctioned. The atmosphere isn't safe anymore. But that weather tower wasn't operational. What? Never mind. Who's the girl? Her name. My name is Sayuri. I escaped from Center 7 almost a year ago. Are you gonna help us break in? I hope so. Let's plug in the data packet and I'll plot the course. Okay, here we go. Alright. So we are here. We are currently in orbit on Barracus. That other planet to the left is Colony 4. That one over there is Harmony. There are jump gates here and here. Let's see where Center 7 is. Oh, way over there. What's that giant brown area? That's the gas nebula on the top side of the galaxy, the one that's causing us so many problems. The fart so nebula. So far, it's uncharted for good reason. Radiation is supposed to wipe you out if you enter. It says here that the prism was carved out of a giant asteroid in the center of the nebula. I don't know about the radiation effect on the ship. As long as we don't stay in the center for a long time, we should be able to make it through. I'll plug in the coordinates and plot our course of descent when we get near. You want to draft up a plan? Give me a minute. I'll be in the other room. So you escaped from Center 7? Yes. That was almost a year ago. That means you were a patient there. Yes. So you don't remember who you were, right? I know who I am now, and that's all that matters. But you have no memory beyond a year ago. That's right. Sayuri, are you going to help us break in? Yes. Do you have anything that can help us? Schematics? Codes? 
No, not like that. I escaped through the maintenance sections. I made my way to the docking bay, hopped on a freighter, and I got out when it arrived on Barracus. So you know part of the layout. That sounds pretty easy. Yes, if you put it that way. If you docked and got in through the maintenance areas, I could probably find my way around. All right. I'll tell you when we get there, then. Oh, and as? I thought I should stick around, you know? Just in case I could help. Now that Kane finally trusts me, that is. Fine with me. After we get your brother, could you drop me off at Colony 4? I need to catch up with my family. I'm sure Kane won't mind. You want to help us enter the facility? You know I said I was never going to pick up a gun again. Just checking. We're locked in a course. We'll be there in seven hours. Azrael, you want to tackle that plan now or later? Now's fine. So, why are you coming exactly? You don't even know Azrael's brother. You have your own reasons, don't you? I left someone behind when I escaped. Yep, I need to yep. find out what happened to him. That's all. Okay. Yeah, I'm totally right. I called this shit fucking three years ago, baby. Yeah, complete. She doesn't realize I'm standing right in front of her, probably. Come, Delta Six, come. I feel like, I almost actually feel like at this point in the story, it should be very clear. I mean, it's not even like she's, like, disguising her voice. She sounds exactly the same as the, the chick that's here, you know? I feel like people would start figuring out, like, oh, wow, I, and she appears to be of Asian descent. Well, Delta Six, here we are at last. Your final exam. If Yay. you pass, you will be free to leave this facility and go on to your new life. You do want that, don't you? Now then, let's get started. Go ahead, pick up the gun. Uh, is the gun actually gonna be there? Nope! Still just the weight sitting there. Uh... Well? Why aren't you shooting? Cause there's no bullets? I just, I'm gonna flip him off. Well then, if you don't want to test today and complete your final exam, then you won't get your food ticket. Simple as that. Wow, don't you- I'll be waiting here until you're ready, Delta Six. Or <laughs> until you starve to death. Wow, you guys are really bad at your jobs. I just want you to know that. I mean, seriously, there's nobody there to check and see if there are a bullets in the gun, or if there's still a fucking gun in the pedestal. Where does it go when it goes down there? Can you not look at me and see when I'm holding a <laughs> a dumbbell weight? Hey. Oh, there she hey. is. Giselle said she wanted to talk to you. About what? I don't know. She didn't say. She's waiting in the mess hall, I think. Charlie, Epsilon 5. You wanted to see me? Sit down. Epsilon 5 will be coming with us after all. Everything's ready. I got the map completed. Except Balder won't be coming with us. Why? He's dead. He had some kind of accident on maintenance duty last night. A steam valve wrecked his face or something. They said some doctors came in while nobody knew and took him to one of the other floors. Anyway, I guess we'll have to leave without him if he doesn't show up. How Don't are we care. Doing this? Judging by the map, we should exit from maintenance level 1A, disable the security, that's you, Epsilon, then try to reach the cargo bay. Turns out your computer skills are useful for something. That appears to be the only way off this place, since we seem to be in outer space. It looks like they have computer labs here and here. If they have our old memories, that's where they'll be, and that's where we'll go. Once one of us gets maintenance duty, we're all going to regroup on the maintenance floor. What'll happen if we get caught? Same thing that happens to everyone. We won't remember this conversation. We'll reset again. Until that maintenance call comes, just stay tight. Say, Charlie, you want to go check your stash one more time, just in case you left anything from your past life? I mean, it's not like you have anything better to do. Hello, note. It's a note. It reads, Find Giselle, she can help you. MT level 1, room 3, talk. I just found Giselle. Oh, mementos. Hello there. It's a 
a note. It reads, Get out now before it's too late. More mementos. Oh. Ah. Balder. Uh. What do you want? Please don't hurt me. What did they do to you? <laughs> what happened? Your face is totally back to normal. Did they re erase your memory? What did they do to you? What are you talking about? Yeah, he's erased. His voice, his memory got erased. What do you want? Do you remember anything? How do I get to Green Chamber 2? Go. Go to the testing floor. Thank you. Wow, they did a good job repairing your face. Epsilon. So those notes that were there were left behind by me or something? Are you sure that camera behind me is off? I think so. We all here? Did you find Balder? Yes. You did? Yes. Was he all right? <laughs> he yes. He doesn't remember anything. Good. Then we don't have to drag him along on the escape. All right, then. Yeah, well, he was an asshole if anyway. if we don't make it, at least we went out trying. If we do make it, I won't miss this place. Do we have everything? Gun, screwdriver? Yeah, it's all here. Charlie, take the gun. You're better with it. Good, I get the gun. Give me the card, Epsilon, and I'll open the door. And haven't you decided on a name yet? No. Then I'll give you one myself. How do you know. like Sayuri? Dun dun dun. Sayuri. Except no one's really What's surprised. The Not good enough for you, Sayuri. Okay, Epsilon Five or Sayuri, whatever. I'm ready for you. I suppose by this point we probably could still assume that. Oh well, you know, these two guys are still separate people. He's, this is still the brother that he was looking for, but I'm. Pretty positive it's not gonna so be. Yuri, take that camera down. I think it's down. Wow, you're fat. You work fast. <laughs> she just hits the back key. <laughs> there hmm. we go. Wonder what happened in here. The whole place is in shambles. Anyway, that's going to be our exit point. I have an access code that should disable the security without being detected. Charlie, enter this code on that access door. Six, three, eight, two, one. Okay. Uh, this one. Six, three, eight, two, one. Unauthorized access point breached. Maintenance level one. Room three. Locking all access doors. Now, nah, fuck. Make no attempt to escape. Giselle? You have violated your rights as an inmate of this center. I answered it right, didn't Giselle, I? Giselle, what do we do? Delta 6, Epsilon Philon 5, Beta 7. The other instructors and I are truly, truly disappointed in you all. Shut up! Please don't speak to me like that. Why don't you come down here and face us for once? How can you still see us? We turn the camera Giselle, off. Giselle, I see you're still the same even after your rehabilitation. What? What did I tell you, Delta Six, about escaping? Do you realize the trouble you've caused us? All of you, by requiring me to reteach you after I erase your memories again. I'm to going shoot to have stuff? to retrain you all again. Just as soon as the guards come. They've locked down the main to the maintenance level. They'll be here any second. Function press. Pressing escape to skip walking is now disabled. Alright. Sometimes I wonder why you want to escape. To live with no identity? I could never understand that. Oh, can I shoot the door? We were oh, going to give there we you go. a new life, a new identity. One that will let you be free from all your past troubles. Get the kick it? There we are. Fuck yeah! Don't worry. We have guards waiting for you that way. Go ahead. Try and escape. Let's go. Okay. Might as well. What's going on? 
We have to go. It's our only chance. The director might be bluffing. Have you ever seen any guards here? No? Well, neither have I. What are you saying? I'm saying that maybe he's just a crazy old man living up there in his office pretending to give orders down here. Either way, it doesn't matter because I'm not sticking around here. I well, I saw the, the door open and just point. open behind us, so... Somebody's coming after us. Run, run, run! Oh, God. Oh, what in the hell is the purpose of that? Charlie, I think I see a switch over there. Would you kindly take the lead to disable it for us? Be oh, of course. <laughs> Fuck you guys. So I have to down this perfectly. No, 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 no. Wow. Dead. Uh, ah. Be careful. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure, not sure why I made it that time and not the other time, but okay. Ah. Ooh. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. Wow, why, why would she stand there for... Thanks, mm, is it really you stopped? Good out there. You done good, bro. You're not getting out that way, Delta-6. Run! Shut up! Ah, oh, son of... <laughs> what the... <laughs> Run! Fuck all of you guys! And hey, where's my infinite ammo? Dead. There we are. Let's go. Metal. That medical technician sure knew how to who to how to shoot. Uh. I want to mess with that. All right. Just oh, ladder. Reactor sound. Then I want to get near the radiation. Okay. Then just run, 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 and a fine, fine enemy. Ah. Oh, dead. Fucking run. dead, Giselle. Use the stun settings, you morons. We want them alive. No, Giselle. Ah, fuck, I don't. I didn't like it that much anyway. Set your guns from from kill to stun, dum dum. Oh, oh. Uh, she has the key card, right? Can you work that door? I'll try. Or yeah, hacking skills too. They're right behind us. We have to hurry. We have to walk faster. These barrels look. Two guards come. Ah, I knew it. I knew I was like, those barrels look convenient. That guy looks just like me. You know, I really don't understand why the guy didn't just change the, the hair color of some of these other guards. I mean, just to make them look different from me. Seems like that would have been pretty easy to do. Ah, thank God. The great escape. And golden gun again. I guess it means only one more fight Hurry, left. They're coming. Got it. Run. Oh, oh fucking boulder! Why boulder? Why right in my face? You didn't forget after all, did you, boulder? Tell me that gun was set on stun. Otherwise, you could have killed two of my patients now. Of course it was. You didn't have to kill her. She didn't have to die. She was going to escape. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have let you out, Peter Two. Your old memory is giving you revenge fantasies. Bring him back to the rehab chamber. Why? We're going to erase his memory again. <laughs> again. Speaking of which, why don't you go get Epsilon-5 already? The hangar bay is locked down. Of course. Delta six. Delta six. Yeah. Time to let you free, I suppose. You've got to go out and see the world. I can't hold your hand forever. So he decides to instead just drop me off now, right? It's like he's like, fuck your final exam, just get out of here! Skirt everything up. Space. The final frontier. 
pretty sure it looks like we're kind of getting close to the end. I knew this wasn't a very long game, so I'm not really very surprised. The mark on your hand. What? What about it? It says Epsilon 5, doesn't it? Yes. I heard they remove it during the surgery. What's that? It's our plan. So, I've pinpointed the coordinates of the asteroid containing Center 7 deep inside the nebula. It's gonna be a pain to navigate, but we should be able to find it. Communications and sensors get knocked out from the electromagnetism, so we should be able to reach the asteroid undetected. Once we get within range, we can use the nebula as a screen and maneuver the ship under the backside of the asteroid where they don't have any sensors. Now, according to this blueprint, there's an exhaust shaft right here, which looks like our best point of entry. This would lead straight into the back maintenance sections of the station where they don't have any guards. Once you're inside, you can access terminal computers here and find out where your brother is, Asriel. What if they've already erased his memory? It says they store the memories of their patients on backup databanks. You can access those from the terminal rooms. So you can find out who and where all the other patients have gone? Yes, but I'm not sure if I would even want my old memory back if I were you. And why is that? Would you like a criminal? to wake up one day and discover you were another person entirely? No. Sayori, does this blueprint look familiar to you? I mean, they were supposed to be criminals, right? If it leads into the maintenance shaft, I know where to go. All right then, Matthias and I will stay on the ship after we dock. Then you, Asriel, and Sayori can enter from the back. Sounds good to me. I'll stay on the ship. Okay, I'll start heading into the nebula <laughs> I'll stay on now. the ship and do absolutely nothing. Whenever you're ready, I'll start the descent. We all here. Yep. <laughs> I had like to turn around and check. Okay, I'll start heading into the nebula now. Hold on, this might get a little rough. You know, I wasn't sure for a second. I was thinking maybe we would, we would go to like some of these other uh, planets or whatever, but that would stretch the game Warning. out more. But look, no, nope, like we're going straight to it. Rapid rate. Warning, you're about to die, dumb, dumb, dumb. Are you sure we're gonna make it? We should hold together. Warning, deflection shields failing. Ah! This doesn't sound good. Don't oh, change my mind, we're gonna die. Uh, we'll hold together. <laughs> Come on! I'll look at that radar and update my position. Look. Oh my god. We're in the center of that crosshair, and center seven should be a blinking light out there. Can you see it? I've got a blinking light. Tell me which way to go and keep updating my position. Uh. Uh, go up. straight. Right. Veer left. Left. Okay. Left. Go straight. Up. Okay. The dot disappeared. The nebula must be interfering with the radar. Just keep directing me as if the target is where it was. Okay. <laughs> Go straight. Keep it. going up and left. Here, left. Going. Go up. Got it. Left. left. Going. Oh my God. Here, going. Here, right. Here. Roger that. Here, right. Here, <laughs> Holy shit! You're really going in tiny increments Go here, aren't we? Okay. Go straight. Yeah. Go up. Go up. Go up. up. Something's wrong with the radar. What are you talking about? It's all staticky. Well then, fix it. Kick it. That's what always works. Uh, kick. Oh, I fucking knew it. Cause it—that's what it's. 
That's the answer to everything in this game. Oh, now we're going down. Right. Down. 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 Got it. Right. Going. Pan right. that. All right. Now we're dead on. Hold up. Oh shit. Got a visual. Right into it. Try to get under it before they can spot us. Oh, boom. <laughs> Behold. Did we make it? We're in. Yeah, but I thought for sure we were spotted. Their sensors were right on us. Maybe the radiation interfered with the signal. Okay, Az. Your go. Good luck. Find your brother. I'll keep an eye on the ship. You ready, Sayuri? Lead the way. Let's go! <laughs> and then just saunter off. do 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 Are you sure Gate. this tunnel is pressurized? Yeah, it says so on the schematic. It leads straight into the maintenance shaft. I recognize this area. I've been here before. Okay, I'm just predicting it. The director's gonna be here and he's probably gonna say, if he if I am the same guy, he's gonna say, Welcome home to you me. Know where we are. Just fucking calling it. I remember. We should go straight ahead to reach the computers. I think I can access the database in there. Just find what you need and locate the cell my brother is in. It's gonna be like Welcome home, Delta Six, and he's gonna go. No! <laughs> I've played too many games. I know how this is gonna go down. Oh, look at that! What? what does that say? Step. Step him. S st oh, stop him! Oh. He's wearing a gas mask. Oh. His gas mask is punctured. So it's useless. Hmm, alright. Hey Sierra, you mind uh testing that out real that quick? Won't help. <laughs> Screw you, asshole! Alright, fine. It's already broken beyond Oh. It's already broken. Shoot the light. Boom! There we go. Hey, that actually worked. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting that to work. Guns solve all my problems. Don't want to mess with that. It'll probably be something we do later. God, everybody's fucking dead I think that's here. where the terminals are. Up there. All right. I will say, there's a lot of reused sound bites in, uh... Uh, in this game. Like, just a lot of... Yeah, the same. Yes. No. All right. <laughs> Go. No. Maybe. Uh, 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 uh. He had a key card. I knew it. Ah. The brain room. The surgery chambers. This is where they would finish the rehabilitation. It ended with a memory wipe and then a face transplant. Oh. A face transplant. Okay. You know, I thought my guy already looked quite a bit like this guy. So I wouldn't have really expected a face transplant, but oh, tell her. Oh, tell her to use. Can you work that terminal? I'll try. I see. What's your brother's name? I'll try to find his cell. Daniel. Daniel Odin. Okay. I'm scanning the station's manifest for life forms. Seems like everyone's gone here. That's funny. What? None of the station's crew are showing up on the list. What about the prisoners? Yes, they're here. His name is Daniel Odin? Yes. I don't understand. That can't be right. There's nobody here by that name. Da da da. Well, they couldn't have taken him anywhere else. Maybe they didn't update the database. Maybe he's not listed here. Maybe on another drive. I can look in the next room. Let's go then. Wait. I need to look up a different patient first. Who? When I was here before, there was a patient called Delta Six. He was the one who got me out of here. File selected. He didn't Delta escape six. with you? 
subject was contracted was by the Taurus Mafia to, leave to be trained as an what assassin did they do to for him, employment. Man. I'd rather not think about it. Uh, why did they talk over that? Subject file, Delta 6. Training began 22-28, November 11th, on schedule. Subject was trained in basic training and completed in December 7th, 22-28. Subject was given specialization training in armed weaponry. Subject attempted to escape facility by destroying maintenance access point 7C on December 18th, 2228. Memory was re-erased and weapons training continued. A second escape with two fellow inmates was attempted eight days later on December 26th, 2228. Escape attempt was neutralized. Prisoner Epsilon 5 was reported missing and traced to Baracus. Prisoner Beta 7 was accidentally terminated. Oh, interesting. They pronounced it Baracus there. <laughs> File continued in next room. <laughs> What? Who the fuck set it up this way? <laughs> that, that was weird. I, yeah, I was like, I was wondering earlier if it was pronounced Barracus or Baracus, and uh, as we're saying Bar Barracus, and it's Baracus there. Uh, oh. Oh, this is another room. It's been bloodier than the last one was. Can you work that? I'll try. Does it say anything? Anything about my brother? Nothing. Still nothing here. They've got to have something. Something else. Wait a second. They have a series of locked drives up ahead. They're in the director's office. We'll have to go there in person to access them. You want to check it out? Let's go. Wait a second. There's another file <laughs> here on Delta 6. I want to <laughs> check it out. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh. Time to retrain him. Again. Would you rather let him take control of his own life, and let him become a monster? That's why we recondition them. They don't need a choice, because it will be the wrong one, so we make it for them. Shouldn't we get ready for the face transplant? Yes, Fred, of course. <laughs> yes, Fred, of course. programming his new past. The construct finished hours ago. And you put the fail-safes in, right? Do I look like I know how to do my job? Just checking. We should start the surgery. You should. I told the client we would have him shipped to New Jupiter by tomorrow. He's supposed to arrive there with the new memory in place. I'm gonna miss you, Delta Six. I love you. <laughs> he doesn't even know you. I know him, and this is the end of him. His consciousness, his existence. He has a new identity now. Azrael Oten, just says fucking the say it. Office is ahead. Let's go. Just fucking say it. I already know. <laughs> wow. If this is really is that it went, I mean, this is probably the early, like, I don't think I've ever called a twist like that, like, at, like, the first episode of a game before. Wherever it was. It won't open. Can't see shit. Oh. Oh. Asriel Odin. Ah. Uh. I never thought I would have to say that name again in my life. Hey, man. The little assassin who went out, went out to be a big boy and work for the Barrio Kudin. But no. No, 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 no. You had to screw everything up, didn't you? You know what happens when customers uh. get defunct products. I see. They get recalled. You know how? I put fail safes in them. Fail safes. Oh. And when, when, by the flip of a switch, the product automatically comes back to me. Ah. Uh. You know, desirable objects, lost lovers, objects of power, missing family members. Everybody has something that they're willing to give everything up for and chase after. So his fail safe was his brother. Don't move. Uh. Damn it. I had a feeling he might be a bad guy. You must know by now, don't you? <laughs> you have to figure it out. Your Come on. Your name isn't Azriel. There's no such person as Azriel Odin. I created him. I programmed your entire past, your entire being, your personality. Fuck it. Hold that think shit. That you were Azriel Odin. But I'm happy to see you again, Delta Six. I've missed you since you left. <gasps> I'm not Delta Six. Yes, you are. How do you know that? How do you know who you are? Matthias knows me. You 
don't have to create fake people by themselves, you know that. I can just send them out in pairs, or triplets, or dozens. Just because you remember him, it doesn't oh, mean he's real. Is he balder then? Think about it, Delta Six. Any connections to your old life, any family members or loved ones who could identify you. They don't exist. They don't And exist. if they do, you don't remember where to find them, or remember when you last saw them. There's no one in this world who can identify you. Azriel. The past I created for you predetermined you into becoming an assassin. I see. That's why they train him on guns. But for some reason, when we sent you out, he left the border. You betrayed us, Delta Six. I see. So he, and he, I that see. That wasn't supposed to happen. No, it wasn't. The border couldn't bought him and essentially. I spent the last eight months trying to figure out why exactly did my predestination fail me? <laughs> That's interesting. It never has before. Azriel, he. You know, I've had this theory about you. About why you totally flipped out and betrayed your fellow assassin assassins and then turned yourself into the police. Ugh. You might know a little bit about our operation here and how you're all designed to be programmed from a clean slate. Mm. Funny thing is though, some sometimes our patients don't turn out the way we want them to. You being an extreme case. Some of them just fail to function as their programmed roles. And you know why? I think it's because there's one section of the human psyche that we just have never deconstructed in our rehabilitation process. We call it the conscience. My God. When you finally pull the trigger, maybe we haven't desensitized you enough to killing. Maybe we need to make you kill innocent men a hundred times over, just like you did in your past. You remember it, Azriel. You remember what you did in the Gemini War. But, sadly, the conscience isn't affected by memories. It's only affected by experience. I still taste their blood. Well, thanks to you, I've decided to integrate a new phase into our rehabilitation process. This is called Deconstructing the Conscience, and it will be starting on all patients effective immediately. <laughs> We're starting with you! You're gonna die. Delta Six I knew the it. First test subject of this new phase. Now kill her. We'll have loads of fun, I'm sure. And you, Epsilon Five, what shall we do with you? Such an unexpected guest deserves some kind of recognition. Uh, oh shit. Goodbye, Delta Six, Epsilon Five. It was a pleasure to see you both again. I think the person that voiced the director did a really good job. I think he was probably one of the best voice actors here. Ah, oh, shit. Wait. Hey! What now? I don't know. <laughs> I like how... <laughs> wow, re Ezra really didn't really react to that. He's like, yeah, I already knew that. Nico told me about it at the very beginning of this LP. <laughs> he, figured out, he figured it out like five minutes into this game. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna do. Oh, uh, a, hey, uh, can you open the door? God fucking dead, ow! Ow. Oh, okay. Oh, where am I? Welcome home. Ah, uh, he didn't say that. Damn it! I was so sure he was gonna say. Well, at least I was right about with ev just about everything else. What is that? Oh, light from the vent in the ceiling. I think. Ooh, let's wash my hands. Just an ordinary sink. I'm now controlling her. I don't need to. Is there anything hiding in the in the lid? They never they never seem to check those toilet lids, do they? That's funny. There's no piping inside the tank. Oh, probably because of what he did before, right? Huh. Oh, it's an opening and I could just... I don't see anything. Wait a second. I think I see some movement on the other side. Oh god, it's a rat! Uh... Hello? Is anyone there? Sayori. Oh. Kane? Kane. Where are you? I'm in some kind of cell. Same here. What happened? 
I don't know. They got Asriel. I think they're going to rehabilitate him. What? We've... We've just got to get out of here. Where's Matthias? How should I know? He's the one who put me in here for all I know. Can you explain to me what exactly is going on here? Where's Asriel? I'm betting... Asriel, he... Balder is... Pr uh, Matthias is he probably Balder. Exist. He's the same hair color. What? He's not real. He's a rehabilitated patient who existed before in this prison. The director gave that patient the identity of Asriel, and sent him out to be an assassin. But I guess Asriel joined you. So they hunted him down. They wanted to get him back here to change him again, to rehabilitate him. Are you saying that there's no such person as Asriel Odin? I don't know. Yes, I think so. And I'm guessing that means his brother doesn't exist either. Meaning I wasted my god well, dang not time! Odin, then who is he? Delta I don't six. know. I think he was in Center 7 the same time I was. We called him Delta 6. None of us knew who we were. But they have the memory drives here. I know. We'll get your memory back, don't worry. We have to save Asriel first. Ah, there we go. Use Kane on lid. Kane? What? Open the lid of your toilet, will you? Where is this leading? Please? It's always something in that fucking toilet. Now look in the stupid. Do I have to do everything for you, dum dum? Hey, Kane. What? Check what? inside the toilet. What are you looking for? Anything. There's a turd in here. I ripped out one of the pipes. Urgh, oh, wow. Ripped it out with my bare hand. Okay. Uh. Hey, oh. Kane, oh. Of course. Me. Give. I. I Get, have her give the pipe over here. Or have him give the pipe to me. Hey, can well, All right. Give me the pipe. I slid <laughs> it through. Wow. Look like a big gap. I think we might be closer than we appear to be. Are you really good at sliding things? Okay, good. Now the smart person can do stuff with it. <laughs> I'm not putting the pipe in. Oh, there's a panel there. But I will use it I here. I need more leverage to pull it open. The panel is... Oh, uh, oh, kick it. It's yeah. more bent. Now it's more bent. <laughs> That's the answer to everything. If I don't know what to do, it's just fucking kick it. I got part of it open. I might be able to peel the rest off. All right. Go. All right, smell you later. Uh, Other guy. What's going on? Subject file. Smell Delta you later, six. Kane. Rehabilitation uh. number three. Rehabilitation procedure 572 initiated. Matthias, what are you doing here? Asriel, if I should even call you that still, I'm here to watch. Mm. I'm here to make sure you suffer for what you've done. What? It's the next best thing since the director won't let me kill you. Beta 2, could you please step out of the way? Uh, we need to get this yep. operation started. Fucking knew it. All right. Delta 6. Balder. Delta 6. <laughs> How many times are we going to have to do this? I don't know, They're man. Short-handed now, too. Why is everybody dead anyway? Oh no. <laughs> Let's save our I know I'm going to die probably. Yeah, let's work. Uh, I hope you promise me this time that you won't malfunction. You are one of the last, Delta-6. It's useless. I can't get out. No. Is it true? What, that you don't exist? Yeah, it's true. Mr. Charlie, Mr. Delta-6. <laughs> Who are you then? Charlie. <laughs> I bet you'd like to know. Oh, to Charlie. You, know. Uh, you see, after you left, it's useless. I can't get out. Got a little what? <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, uh, crap. Uh, ow. Stop swooshing my brain in circles. Oh, back here again. Kane, where are you? I'm in the next cell over. Oh. You aren't gonna leave me behind, are you? Of course you get. Yes! No. Kane, I'll get you out in a second. 
<laughs> yes, I'm gonna leave you behind. Is that high enough? Yeah, there we go. All right. Kane. What? I've got this open. I'll try to get you up. All right. Thanks for not leaving me behind. Kane. Right. Where to now? <laughs> this guy's so smug about everything. Before the erases memory. A little late for that. They've already drilled my brain, dude. I wonder if I could smush Kane with it. <laughs> if I like, if I just go to this side here. Just try that. I want to try. I want to try killing Kane like this. That'd be awesome. Better not. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Better not. <laughs> Kane, can you stand there for me? <laughs> okay. Oh, you say I'll wait out here? Hey. I see something there. What is that? Oh, here we go. Kane? All right. K Kane? Asriel. Asriel. Uh. Asriel. Where am I? Do do you remember me? What? Asriel, do you know my name? I I don't know. Let's go get the ship. We don't want to waste any more time. I'm betting they've got it docked in the hangar bay. What about his memory? The memory files are locked in the director's office. You can try to get there, but we don't have time to stay around here forever. Azriel, can you walk? I... I think I can. Come on, before somebody notices we're missing. I'll meet you at the ship. I... I can't remember anything. Just follow me. Everything is going to be okay. I will show you the way. Wait, just follow me. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, not that way. Uh, uh. Are you alright? I don't know. Audio log number 250. I think I have to open it with. Ben, something's wrong with the memory banks. All the files are missing for the patients. Do you know where they went? I wanted to check something. Some of our patients, we. We... We haven't been rehabilitating criminals. I don't know who these people are. And this isn't military training procedure. The guns, they're what Boyokuda and assassins use. Audio log, number 277. The director's locked himself in his office. He's got all the memory files in there and he's locked down the station. I can't call back home base through the nebula interference. I can't let him take me. Hmm. I can't go on existing without even knowing it. Did you get the memory files? No. We don't have time to stick around here. Whoever locked us up might find out we're missing. But... All right. You know how to get this door open? There's a big blood spot there. So what happened here, anyway? I, I don't really understand. Why is everyone dead? There's the ship. Okay. <laughs> Let's get okay. out of here. I'm not ready to stick around and let ourselves get captured again. Let's go, Sayuri. Security breach. All access doors will not open. Oh, damn it. Crud. There's <laughs> got to be another way for this door to open. It's because I opened the locker? <laughs> or is it just happened Asriel, to be real? I wasn't done with him. I need him to come back now. I have plans for him. They weren't finished. Shut up, director. Let it go. This door won't open. Fucking let it go. The station goes into an emergency. Where are you going? You know what happened to the last people who tried to leave this station without my permission? Here, take Azriel's old communicator so I can call you. They... they were going to tell on me. Oh. Ooh, gas mask, give me that. 
I gotta go start an emergency, essentially, right? <laughs> they were, I like how you said, they're going to tell on me. They were gonna tattletale. Time to finally mess with this fucking button. Raise temperature bells. Shut cooling vents. Close safety doors, because why not? Release cooling gas. Releasing deadly gas. Warning, you did something bad. Why would they even let me do this? Be able to do this anyway. All access points open. I repeat, evacuate station. Emergency, all access points open. <laughs> you guys are still there. I repeat, evacuate station. But I haven't finished my I haven't finished my pudding yet. Please proceed in orderly fashion to avoid a painful, gruesome death. <laughs> You're not, not moving at all. Yes, I get it. All right. Sayuri, the doors are open. Get back here. I'll start the ship. Sayuri? The doors are open. That means oh. I can go back. I can get my memory back and Azriel's. But there's no time. There's I no time. My entire life not knowing who I am. There's always time, Kane. Finding out, I'll regret it forever. Sayori, wait. It's too late. Ooh, hello there, main room. Is the director in here? We're ready to go. Accessing memory files. Wait. Oh, there he is. You God. don't want to do that? Oh. I S normally don't like to talk to my patients face to face, but, a, but it appears a monocle? you have made quite a mess of things. It's the penguin. You think controlling our lives is your decision? My decision? If I don't do it, then society has already done it. Everything in a normal human being's life creates who that person is, from their environment, to their friends, to their life experiences. All I'm doing is recreating that. It's the same thing that happens to every person who enters this world. No matter what, I can't control everything. Do you still blame yourself for leaving Delta-6 behind? Are you going to kill me? What do you think? Do I have a choice? Maybe everything in my life was predetermined to this moment. Maybe someone chose my past, my life experiences, my environment. Maybe that shaped my personality into who I am and what I can and can't do. But here I am, with this gun. I don't have a choice, do I? What I am about to choose has already been decided by every programmed bit of my being before me. What is it then? Do you think I have a choice? That's deep, bro. Yes! You always have a choice! Yes. Yes. I did have a choice. But I only realized that when it was too late. Are you going to kill me? If you wish for your death, then so be it. Warning! Reactor core nah! unstable. Implosion is imminent. Proceed to evacuate station. Emergency. All access points opening. Emergency. All yes, access I get it already. I get it. <laughs> what are you Sire, still doing here, Dumb Dumb? Open. Get back here. I'll start the ship. Sayuri. The doors are opening. Oh. That means. Sayuri, what? Flashing back to a few minutes ago. But there's no t there's no time. Blah 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 blah. Sayori. Who's Sayori? <laughs> that she, girl we were just with. She's the one who got you out of there. Where'd she go? 
I don't know. I should go back for her. This station's about to blow. We need to get out of here now. I don't have time for that. No idea what's going on right now, do you? <laughs> I don't need to. <laughs> give me your gun. Give me my. Give me. Give me your gun. How, I need a weapon. How do you know how to use that? I've always known. I remember things. I'm going back. Don't stop me. Don't you, Damon, stop me. Asriel. I'll be waiting in the ship. Asriel. It'll take a minute to prep it. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck out of here. All right, bye. Bye, guy. I don't know. Ah, son of a bitch, who the fuck is so that? So I see they didn't erase oh. the weaponry training, am I right, Charlie? Who are you? Well, I'm definitely not some screwed up freak from your fake past, am I? What do you want? I want you Actually, hair, his hair isn't red, never mind. Me that day. I heard it took at least three surgeries to get my face back in one piece again. I sure did fast. That's right, buddy. It's me, Balder. In case you still didn't figure the it out. The doctor uses me as a memory figure now, and rehabs me when he needs someone to double in a fake past to someone who doesn't exist, like Matthias. But after I'm done, I get my old memory back, and I made sure that we ran into each other again. Not the best line of work, but I can't complain. So Delta-6, Asriel, whatever screwed up person you are, well, are you ready to die, or what? All right. I like how he said, all right. Are you ready to die? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you must have lots of HP or something. Gotcha, motherfucker. Golden gun. Ha, ah, I win. In your face, Balder. Now I'm going to teabag you. Ah. I have nothing to say to him. I have nothing to say. He has a gun. I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> that didn't work. Ah, oh, damn it! Die, asshole! Ah! Ah, oh, man. I wouldn't know what to say. Wouldn't know what to say to dead Zyre. Come, Zyre. Can you hear me? I'm fucking dead, dude. Sayuri! Oh, do you even know who you just killed? No. And that doesn't bother you? Nope. Let's... let's just get out of here. Can you... walk? I think so. Wow, apparently that guy was a terrible shot. <laughs> oh, I got a boo-boo finger! Rue the day. Gemini rue the day. Hold on, I'll get us out of here. Kane. Now for it to explode. <laughs> Boom. Remember, Kane, don't you dare look at that explosion. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Just let me get up. I'll be right back. I'm gonna just go bleed out somewhere real quick. We've made it out. We're safe. We did and it. the director? Dead, I assume. The patients? They got off on that other transport. Do you realize what we've just done? We stopped them. We stopped the Buryokudan. And now they're gonna go back to killing them instead. 
I would rather be dead than live again without knowing it. Then why not kill Azrael now? He doesn't know who we are. I don't know who he is. He's not the same person as before. All his memories, his past, his emotions, they don't exist anymore. Is that all we are? Our memories? Yes. Even though we couldn't remember anything, we weren't all evil in Center 7. We stuck together. We knew who we were. Maybe because, deep down, maybe there's something besides your memories that makes you who you are. Kane's like, that's stupid. Me You're if stupid. His name is Delta 6, or Asriel, or if he thinks he's one person or the other. Because I know that he's still the same person on the inside. The person I know who saved me, with or without a past. He's actually detected bad. He doesn't even know who you are. He doesn't have to. He only has who he is right now, and that's all that matters. Now I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go make babies with him right now! Don't- Don't come back there for a few hours! He doesn't have to live a life of Rue anymore. Life of Gemini Rue. You guys talking about me? A Jasher Nuremberger production. So she's with Hot Wad Jet Eye Games. <laughs> Brian, silly man. <laughs> That's silly man. Shelly Smith Shenoy. That's a mouthful. Rodriguez. I thought the guy that Joe Rodriguez, I thought it, and, well, actually, I don't know. I mean, the Sayuri so director and Azrael, they're all uh, good voice actors. I mean, for the most part, everybody was, I don't know, some of the side characters weren't that great. But I thought the director had the, had one of the best voices in here. I thought he sounded pretty good. All right. That was pretty short, wasn't it? <laughs> I kind of thought it would be, because what I was reading, I, I looked up beforehand how long would it take to beat this, and the average says about seven hours, and uh, I imagine a lot of that is just trying to figure out the fucking puzzles. I mean, hell, you probably could get through this game if you know, you know what to do, like, probably like three hours, you know? But it, I was already like, I mean, you know, I, I think probably overall with these episodes will probably be probably a little over three hours, right? Like this, I don't know how long this one episode will be, but... Uh, oh wow, there's a whole lot of other people here, isn't it? Uh, the Easter egg characters. Uh, I never did find, I think there, I think there were more Cowboy Bebop, uh, uh, characters you could find that you could, uh, to get, like, Easter eggs, but I, I didn't see them. Yeah, I thought it would be a pretty short game, so, but I thought it was a good thing to, uh, to play before starting on Kingdom Hearts 2, but, <laughs> but, you know, we all know how that went. I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm too fucking impatient. What can I say? Gemini Rue. The end. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. Oh, what? Wow. Just, it just exited the game for me. Okay. <laughs> You're done playing now. But actually, I was, I was gonna go back and play for developer. No, you, you're done playing. And all right, that was Gemini Rue. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, there were definitely quite a bit of graphical glitches, uh, and also just I don't know regular glitches in general. Like I don't know, like I had some problems with like my save files uh, for a little while, and also. Just, you know, having, like, stuff float over other things or the map, part of the map disappearing. Overall, it was good. I, I do think, I mean, it, it was pretty, I was pretty much dead on <laughs> with this story. So, uh, I, I'm pretty proud of myself. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think it's really that impressive because, honestly, it's, it wasn't a terribly original story. You know, I mean, this is something that's kind of been done before. Um, I mean, it, they did it well. I, it was well executed, and it was interesting. I liked how the Balder guy ended up being uh, Matthias or whatever. I mean, a lot of the, the dialogue um, 
was well written. I thought that, you know, the director, like I said, a lot of some good voice acting. Um, and the art style was good, although there seemed to be a lot of, like, uh, cutting corners in a lot of spaces, where, which really sort of just kind of baffled me, because some things, like, like it's like one thing, okay, if I take the same character but then just recolor it or something, but this is one thing if I just had to take the same killer and character and not recolor it. So I'm essentially shooting myself, you know? It's like, that just... Maybe that, that seems like such a thing that would be so easy to do. It would take literally, like, a minute to do. I mean, just, I, I don't know why they decided not to, but... Uh, I mean, the artwork overall, though, was was very good. I, I like that. I love that pixel style, you know? Um, this game very much had... I could tell the inspirations of Beneath the Steel Sky, and... Uh, but, yeah, I thought that was a good, good short series. Um, oh, and the puzzles were a little... Uh, a little hard to... <laughs> decipher at some points but again that's most adventure games are like that I, I think it's it's hard a lot of times I think for people when you make an adventure game you only have one solution you know it's hard to sometimes expect people to figure it out unless it's just you know painfully obvious but when you're trying to expect them to do something that isn't maybe as clear that's when that's when the trouble starts. I think I think I think good adventure games ha will have multiple solutions to any one problem I think that's I think that's, like, the best way to go about it. It also helps for replayability, you know, and give everyone a different experience. Uh, also, it seemed like none of the choices I really made in the game had any real impact. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that short little romp through sci-fi old school goodness. Um, like for if you did, and subscribe if you're not already become a Peaky Penguin aboard the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. All right, so now we're, uh, we'll be back to... Uh, uh, continue on Kingdom Hearts 2 and uh, Earthbound. So I don't really know how much more I have of Earthbound. I, I think I'm getting there. I've, I've got three more of those little uh, things to uncover. But uh, yeah, should be good. So anyway, till next time, guys, stay classy. Bernie. Bernie. Hey, buddy. Hey.